Let me take it to Monique Motlock, who is out in Cape Town for an update. And Monique, problems in Cape Town seem to be around issues to do with traffic flow, but also constant uh, road upgrades and, and closures for that kind of work. I suppose the latter part of what I'm saying would, would be a better problem, right? It's better to have a problem of they are constantly fixing the roads as opposed to the roads never get fixed. And speaking of fixing the roads, where I'm standing at the moment in the Kosovo settlement uh, near Samora Michelle, you can see in the distance we've got, I'm going to ask my colleague Asanda Javu to walk with me here. Um, we have members of the City of Cape Town's Transport and Development Authority with some contractors doing a site inspection of the roads to determine what needs to be done here. This is one of the main roads um, leading into and out of Kosovo and Samora Michelle, which takes you all the way up to Philippi. You can see that um, the potholes make it very, very difficult for motorists to navigate. Let's just um, track how this car is going to be navigating through um, the potholes or around the potholes, actually, because it's really it's near impossible going through the potholes we uh, almost scraped our car as we were coming through here and what you see here is what you'll experience right down Oliver Tambo Drive and um, right now the city of Cape Town officials on the ground speaking to contractors, speaking to community leaders over there um, just to assess the situation, see what needs to be done. Apparently, the road upgrades project is set to take place later this month. We will be chatting to the city of Cape Town's make a member for transport a little later. That's Felicity Purchase. Just to get more of an idea of what the city is doing in these communities that feel they've been neglected. And of course, Monique, just sticking with you for a moment, as happens with many issues of development in the city of Cape Town, there's always that juxtaposition between uh, better off parts of the city as opposed to, you know, its townships and um, informal settlements. And I suppose some of the infrastructure you're showing us there uh, attests to that. Yes, and, and that's exactly why we are visiting the areas that we are visiting today because many, many times, almost on a daily basis, we get calls from community leaders, from residents in areas like Danoon, which we visited this morning, uh, Samora Michelle, Kosovo, a little later we'll be going to Philippi. We get calls from these community leaders, from these residents, telling us we're still sitting with the problem of sewage flowing into homes, so, um, block drains, uh, manhole covers frequently being stolen and not replaced massive potholes in the road in the roads that are impacting that traffic flow that you also mentioned um, leading out of the townships onto those highways and even though we see um, massive projects of upgrades on our highways our highways are great our main roads seem to be in working conditions um, roads in the suburbs seem to be in in a good condition but when you come to these places to these townships completely different story. That's why we are giving a voice to these people on the ground and a little later we'll be finding out from the city um, about projects uh, like these, like the one happening in Kosovo and Samora Michelle today, um, finding out if there are any other projects like these that will be taking place in other areas.